What up, what up? Common question is, where do I buy a domain name without getting the hosting? I see all these offers everywhere. People ask me this all the time. I see all these offers everywhere for a free domain name, but then you have to sign up for this, and they want to upsell you to this, da 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 da. Trust me, I feel your pain. I'm going to show you exactly where I buy domain names. If you go to the res if you go to cleverleverage.com on the homepage, just go to the resources tab, and it'll pull up a page that shows you all the tools and all the places that I've been buying stuff for for over eight years now. If you're going to buy something from um, I might have some discount codes in there for you too, but to answer your question, the place that I would buy uh, domain names without web hosting would be GoDaddy or Name Silo. GoDaddy is kind of on my shit list right now. They keep changing their interface to make shareholders happy and, and increase profitability, but it's making it increasingly more difficult to uh, to navigate. Actually, I'm going to just show you real quick. Hopefully, the focus or the camera can focus on this um, deal here. So what I don't like about it is I just logged in earlier today to, that's what prompted me to answer this question right now. I just uh, logged in to um, check on my renewals and make sure I didn't have any domain names that are up for renewal. Usually I keep between two and 300 domain names at a time. Um, those are for primary uh, holdings. But anyway, the point being, they keep changing the interface. So it gets very cumbersome. And then if I do want to um, renew something, it's kind of like, there's so many upsells. It just, I don't really have time for it anymore. I like a really simple, clean interface. And let me just switch over to namesilo.com to show you the difference. And I will put up affiliate links for these later. So by all means, if you're gonna make a purchase on one of these, I would really appreciate it if you would do so through my link. I know I only get like 10%, which is like 80 cents if you spend $10, but the server that cleverleverage.com is on is over 200 bucks a month. So every little bit helps to pay for that. The um, let me just show you the interface here. So the interface for name silo is super easy. If you want to go to manage my domains, just like I just showed you in GoDaddy, this is the difference. It's super simple. You can change name servers. You can change your who is contact information. And the best thing is the pricing. GoDaddy right now is charging over $10 a year for domains. That's without who is privacy. Right now, name silo is $8.99 with who is privacy, which is absolutely insane. So first year you might make out like a bandit at GoDaddy, but when those renewals come around or you keep stuff for a while, man, they're just going to stick it right to you. So to answer your question, uh, my first choice would be name silo. My second choice would be GoDaddy. And if you don't like either of those, namecheap.com. Hope that helps.